So check out the uh, globe artichokes now. I've kind of let them go. I haven't really been uh, paying attention to them much. And But what was cool is I want to show you this. So after, um, you know, you get the artichoke will come, come out here. It opens up um, like this, you know, before, if you don't eat it, you let it flower. And all this is um, turns purple. You can sort of see some of it still in there is purple. Um, and then if you let it go even longer, you get this, kind of like uh, these little puffy things here. And they get taken off by the wind really easily. And check it out. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's the seed right there. And if you notice these things, I think dandelion, right? I think that's the one where that weed you you blow on it. I can't remember, but it's kind of like that. I mean, it's just really loose. It comes out in these tufts. And look at that. I mean, there's a seed. Look at all the seeds we get from this guy. And these things are pretty messy. You get a good little windstorm, a little bit of a breeze, and it just they go everywhere. And but that's what they're supposed to do. That's how they reseed themselves. So globe artichoke seed harvesting, I guess you'd call this. So we're gonna do that so it doesn't make a huge mess. But uh, yeah, what a wonderful plant. It gave us some great tasting artichokes, beautiful bright purple flower, and then more seeds than we're gonna know what to do with. And if you look down here we got a little offshoot growing up all by itself. So fantastic. These guys will, will hang out for a number of years, even here in Arizona.